question is, how was that? Topspin backhand, Novotna. It is turned now, must be disappointed. She reflects back as the Duchess of Kent really tries to encourage her. Come on, if you're there. Uh, in 93, it was 4 1 in the third, points for 5 1, but she actually never served for the match against Graf. She has served for it once this year. the difference in the service games from the Royal Box end where she is now than the end where she's lost her last couple of service games. Like it might have been sliding wide. I tells you I took a gamble to play this forehand volley. Yeah, it's one thing you, you got to try and make that. It may have been wide. She wanted to try and make the shot, but a tough one to pick at that stage. Everything's rather. Everybody's nervous. Off. Oh. 30-15. 30-15, and everybody is nervous, Betsy. This is <laughs> incredible. took something off that serve and tells you I did a good job just to wait hold and played a great backhand return of serve you can see the look from toes to the other end of the court just to see how her opponent is traveling whether she's giving away anything mentally oh. 40 30. Thought she may have come in behind yeah. that and put the there pressure on Novotna. There's been too many points where three or four shots have been traded from the baseline. Game point to take this into a tiebreaker. That'll do it. Game Novotna. Crowd's favourite, obviously, Novotna. Tosia, the veteran of the tour, has. Six games all tiebreak. Terrific in this match, but uh, well, what can you say? Novotna again now into a tiebreaker. She's 29 years of age. Tells you at 30. Thank you, Qua, please. Player to win seven with a two point margin will win the tiebreak. 1 0. Miss Tosia. the big backhand. Two one. Miss Novotna. I don't know about you bets, but I, I'm getting very <laughs> sweaty here. Oh, this is tension here is unbelievable. You feel so much for Novotna over the years. Well, she'd love to play two good points right here. And she has a look at a second serve.
Oh, well played from Tozia. Yeah, she decided that she better come in after that second serve because she knew her opponent Two. would. Yeah, that's one of the few occasions she served and volleyed on a second serve, but a smart play in the tiebreaker, knowing that Novotna would be coming in behind it. To all. Let Fisser. Novotna. Went for the angle. It was a tough position to play that shot from. She was only about a meter inside the service box. 3-2, Novotna. Novotna. Players will change ends. Had a good look at that forehand. Tozia had plenty of time and uh, she never panicked. She hit it well and right into the tape. Out to the forehand, that's the vulnerable side. Didn't have to do too much with the serve. 5 2, Novotna. Players box and now has a bag full for them. Six match two. points. Miss Championship point right here. Faults. This becomes a very difficult second serve. Tells you that knows Novotna's going to come in behind it. Game and there it is. Match. Miss Novotna. Two sets to love. Six you think four, she's not. Seven six. Overcome with emotion. And there is the lady that told her three times was lucky. That's a very emotional roller coaster for a number of years from Jana Votner and uh, the, uh, absolutely the crowd favourite here. A tough situation now for Natalie Tozia, her first uh, Grand Slam final. And there uh, Jana heads into the stands, as now seems to be the traditional thing to do. To go up and thank your coaches, your entourage, everybody else involved for the victory, but uh, well deserved. Oh, no question about that. I all right, Yana Novotna to persevere, come back from several times in her career where she had to fight off the label of having choked, and she has proved herself very mentally tough. And I think everybody in London, everybody from around the world that follows tennis wanted her to win her, her first Grand Slam title right here at Wimbledon. What a defining moment in her career. Standing ovation. Now she's got to do the tough thing is to get back down on center court for the trophy presentation well, you know she is just too good of a tennis player never to have won Wimbledon I mean her game is perfectly suited for the grass and having been to the final twice losing to Graf losing to Hingis both players were the number one players in the world when she lost in the final and to have this opportunity to win Wimbledon is just fantastic spare a thought for the loneliness of the runner-up 
here as you have to sit there and wait for them to roll out the red carpet as they do so very well here at the All England Club. And you can see just the joy. And Natalie Tozia has had to sit down there and watch all this as the assistant referee would go over and console her. And uh, she's waiting there. And uh, she's had a very good tournament, Tozia, here as well. And obviously a disappointment because she felt that she could get through and uh, win the title. Well, her first ever Grand Slam final, she took out the number two player in the world in the semifinals in Lindsay Davenport. And she has to be absolutely thrilled with her performance. Disappointed, yes, that she lost in the final. But as she said, at uh, age 30, she is the, had a lot of experience on the grass. She does play particularly well here. Obviously, she'll be back again. She uh, enjoys the tournament here. But Jana Novotna, what more can you say? It is just a fabulous experience for her uh, right from the start. Folks were saying, yes, she uh, is the probably the one and only real grass court player left in the championship, but can she uh, get over the hurdle? And uh, as they said, the prediction in the paper was, well, on paper, she's a dead cert. In reality, well, it has not happened so far. Now it has. So instead of tears of frustration, there are many, many tears of joy. Now the Duchess of Kent along Duke and Duchess of Kent there, along with John Curry, the chairman of the All England Club, will come out. They'll have a chat with some of the ball kids. And she was asked yesterday, Jana Novotna, uh, what will you say to the Duchess? And she says, oh, yes, yeah, you really, uh, you know, uh, I know what I want to say, but at this stage you have to play the final. So it will be very interesting, this presentation ceremony. Very moving, I would think. Ball kids do just a super job here, and... Uh, at the All England Club, uh, the uh, judgment of a good ball kid is uh, when you don't see them around the place and they have worked well, they train for this event, they come out and they work under adverse conditions uh, on and off during rain delays, the same as the maintenance crew. One of the, uh, the Lions judges there lined up uh, as Chris Gorringe, chief executive of the club, the runner-up plate. The silver salver presented to the runner-up and the bronze medal to each of the semi-finalists. She will get a uh, silver medal along with that and a lot of due recognition over the years. Ten years ago when tennis in France was all about the Davis Cup with Noah and Leconte. She was in the background, and then uh, Mary Pierce came over. Let's just listen now and watch. Duchess says, I told you three times was lucky. And if you watch this and you watch the, the Duchess there in the Royal Box, she was saying, come on, on two or three occasions. They've become rather good friends over the years. <laughs> and finally, to get to hold the winner's trophy, Yana's mom there in the middle and here to enjoy and witness this. Well, when she came up and, and served for the match and then faltered, the chair umpire, Mrs. Jane Hobbs. it was a struggle to see whether she would really go on with it. She came back. Jane Harvey, the chair umpire. This is the fifth occasion she's done a Grand Slam final. It's a third singles final. I thought she did a pretty good job there today. And it is a thrill for any umpire to get up and call a final match. Chris Gorings will guide her around the centre court 
She wants to run around there as much as she can, but they're not ready for it yet. They just have to, I believe, make a presentation to Alan Mills, the tournament referee. <laughs> You can just, you can. Remember last year, Betsy? Uh, said, I just can't believe it. Remember last year in the finals, she, she took it off Martina Hingis yeah, for a minute just yeah. to hold it. And Hingis sort of waved the runner up trophy, and now she has one of her own. Now, well, back to back Wimbledon finals. And to finally win one, what a thrill. And so well deserved for a great a player she is. And along with the title and the trophy. The endorsement value, the commercial side of the deal. She takes home 654,000 US dollars. I don't think she'll stop kissing that for the next couple of hours. Now the traditional walk around center court to show the folks. <laughs> Hannah says, hold it up in the air, get it up in the air. Mom doesn't to be come, very proud. You know, she doesn't come to too many tournaments, and uh, you know, she came today to watch this historic moment. over there who was a Wimbledon finalist herself lost to Virginia Wade he's there with Yana's mum and her coach Hannah and Lakova Wimbledon is far from finished really for Yana Vatna she's still in the semi-finals of the doubles they'll play later today she and Martina Hingis they're the reigning French champions Yana Vatna has three Wimbledon doubles titles she's looking for a fourth she knows how much the British folks appreciate what she's done here. And a lot of them here today possibly witnessed that match in 1993 against Effie Graf, where she came so very close. Last year played with injury. If you can just see there underneath her tennis yep. shirt there, she has a back. It's a brace that just is keeping the back warm. And so that uh, she had a full stomach muscle, if you remember, last year against Hingis. And uh, in the warm-up, she played with a warm-up suit in the doubles the other evening. And if you can just see that there underneath the shirt, there is a, 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 a black brace that has uh, kept her warm throughout the final. And uh, the sentimental favorite has come through. Well, I think everybody sitting watching this final is just so thrilled and so happy to see Yana Novotna finally come through with a win. And she is giving a heartfelt thank you in return. She doesn't want to leave. <laughs> Don't blame her. She should do another round. If you want me to do another round, I'll do another round, she says. Yes. Standing ovation. Only the second Czech player in the last 25 years with a Czech passport. So Jan Kodish tells me he won the men's singles here in 1973 with a Czech passport. They tell me when Martina Navratilova won her championships, she was a US citizen. Uh, Natalie Tozia has also taken a quick walk around the hallowed turf here. They do things so beautifully over here at the All England Club as far as their presentations are concerned. When we walked into the grounds today, they had brass bands out there playing and it's cool conditions, cool weather, pretty much perfect. And you can see the Duchess of Kent there probably very proud of the fact that uh, her lady has got through. And uh, I'm sure they had some very kind words for one another. They're the flowers they walked on with. A very, very emotional finish to a wonderful ladies singles final. So a very proud mum there and coach as the players depart.
She has given the bouquet of flowers to a fan and signs as many autographs as they want. I think Anna Novotna will sign today. No, just a couple. The best out of us. I mean, uh, we both felt quite a lot of pressure and we both wanted to win really so much. And uh, my God, thanks God, I was a little bit more aggressive. I was good at the net. My serve wasn't good at all today. But nevertheless, I'm just so pleased that I won this championship after all. What was going through your mind when you'd served for it and lost the serve? Well, you know what, the, the whole match, I mean, from the, from the beginning till the end, I was struggling with my serve. I wasn't putting any first serves in. I mean, and Natalie was just all over me. So uh, I felt so much pressure on my second serves that I knew that she will come in. She will be the one who's going to be aggressive. And then that's, so in a way, it didn't really surprise me because I guess at that time, I still wasn't ready. Missed that easy volley first one, pretty close call, but whatever happened, I don't really remember much. But nevertheless, I stayed aggressive. I stayed mm. positive. I really wanted to win. And I think I really wanted to win just a little bit more than Natalie. And you're talking very quickly now. Yeah, it's only yeah. emotional. Yes. <laughs> I know, it is. It is just Emotional, like, isn't it? It is just very emotional, it is. I'm surprised you've taken, let that trophy go. I thought you were going to keep your hands on it for a long time. <laughs> well, they told me I have to give it back. So, <laughs> so that's why I gave it up. But I'm running after it. Yeah. And just before us, I, I know you just met the Duchess on the stairs as well. well yeah, that's a relationship did. that goes a long way <laughs> <laughs> well, she said that uh, she was right last year. She told me it's her time. Lucky, look what happened this year. I have made it. And uh, she was just very pleased and she was just very happy for me that I have finally won this championship. And just sum up what, what happened when you won that final point. What were you feeling? I don't even remember. When I sat down on the chair, I had to ask Alan Mills, Alan, what did I do on that match point? What, really, because there was like, you are in a zone. And as soon as it's finished, I mean, you just let go. And uh, I was just so pleased. My mom came yesterday and uh, was very happy that she was part of this team. Yeah. And what, and you, you know, your mum, you're talking about everyone. I mean, great support mm -hmm. there. Unbelievable support, yes. First of all, uh, I wanted to take this opportunity anyway to dedicate this Wimbledon trophy to my coach, Hannah Mandlikova. For mm -hmm. some number of years, she has the, just simply made me a better player. And without her, there's no way I would make this championship. So what are you going to do next? You've got a doubles, haven't you? I have a doubles, but I don't really care. I'm just going <laughs> to say hi to everybody. I have a wonderful team of supporters and people who are working with me. And uh, I'm just going to say hi to everybody and uh, just enjoy it. Enjoy every single moment of this. You do that. Well done. Thank you.